just continue on the hydrogen thing. I mean, it's kind of funny. There's a lot of debate happening this week. I've seen a lot of news stories like Volkswagen's come out and saying, no, we're not, EU's pushing hydrogen. We're not interested in it for our cars. We just want to do batteries. I think you, you got to have both, you know, for example, for trains or long haul trucks, you need, uh, you know, bat fuel cell batteries, you know, sorry, battery based uh, EVs don't work so well. Um, but yeah, for Japan and for a lot of countries, it's a great way to convert existing infrastructure. And for Australia, which has a lot of coal and a lot of uh, natural gas and so on, it's a great way to convert that infrastructure. You can actually capture all the car capture all the carbon, and get hydro hydrogen out of these uh, dirty fossil fuel sources. So this is where Japan's teaming up with Australia, and it's win win. Australia gets uh, to to not lose out from converting from a fossil based economy to a hydrogen or green based economy. So yeah, it's good to see that Japan's tying up and is going to be uh, actually within this year from a project being set up in Victoria is going to buy uh, its first shipload. And Japan is down there teaching the Australians how to convert their, their fossil energy into uh, hydrogen. And it, so this is what they call blue hydrogen, which is where they extract it from a hydrogen hydrocarbon source but they uh, make sure that the, um, the, the the carbon and so on the nasties don't get emitted in the process so they capture it during the conversion process and that's kind of exciting to see uh, uh, like I said Japan kind of going its own way on this a little bit with doubling down on this but I think it's also another story on renewables um, that uh, like I just mentioned before uh, still Japan is not doing well the the nuclear reactors are all offline Japan is it's funny the the increase in the installation of PV uh, you know photovoltaics and so on has increased but Japan is still doing quite badly on wind power um, yet Japan of course is an island nation it's surrounded by oceans with uh, unending steady wind so um, yeah, there, there's a surprising lack of um, offshore uh, wind particularly when you compare to places like Europe but they're looking basically at copying um, Europe's model for ways of doing this, putting high, high, vo high voltage cables under the water out to these uh, windmills out in the ocean. Again, off places like Fukushima, and this is a great thing, even if even though these are not connected to a national grid, uh, so the power can't really be effective, uh, very very efficiently distributed from these offshore sources. You know, like it's windy up in Almori, but there's no there's not a lot of energy consumption there. Again, the hydrogen thing I was just talking about that they're looking at in Fukushima is a great way to capture the energy there, and then you can drive it down or ship it down the coast and put it in storage containers and still use it where you need it the most. So yeah, it's opening up the possibility to actually uh, really open the floodgates for being able to install this sort of stuff. And it's very exciting and good to see that Japan is investing in it.